Hello everyone! Today we're going to be interviewing a rail fan, or an older rail fan, upon his experiences in like places like Grange and the previous rails from the 70s and 80s. His experiences will hopefully help us learn a little bit or thing or two about him. So, here he is! <laughs> I'm sorry, you. Uh, I just had too many beers, you know? Yeah. yeah but, uh, hey, Lewis, everybody, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Grant for Rail Fan, you know? I, uh, I've been rail fan around Chicago land for 50 years since I was little, you know, and uh, yeah, so I, I'm pretty knowledgeable. So I wanted to ask you something. What are your experiences of rail fanning in Lagrange? Like, what railroads did you love the best? So tell us your stories. Like, is there a particular experience? Like, oh, there was this awesome rail fan catch. What are your experiences? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I remember LaGrange, you know, I went to this bar and uh, had a couple six packs with my buddies. And uh, yeah, they, uh, it was a good time. And then, you know, uh, the ZZ Top fan, he came in and he said that, um, he said that my van was terrible. <laughs> and you know, um, yeah, so we, we got into a big fist fight, you know, we had too many beers, so. Uh, then we got we got arrested. We kicked uh, <laughs> back in the car. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, it was a great experience, you know. So, but what does any of this have to do with trains? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we got stopped by a train on the way back to the police station. If you know what I mean, yeah. Ah, uh, I see. Um, this person's crazy. Uh, that was an awesome uh, interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, focus back awesome. on her, focus huh. back on her. Huh. Um, so what would you say, um, since uh, your LaGrange story's a little off, what about Franklin Park? Like, how, you had to a rail fan there. I mean, you're obviously a rail fan. Yeah, yeah, well, I remember Franklin Park, you know, um, uh, I met up with a couple of my buddies there. We went to this bar, and we, uh, we had, uh, too many six-packs, you know, and, I just, uh, I, 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 we, we accidentally, we broke up the bar, but uh, it's, it's all good, you know, it's, uh, it's completely lawful, and then, <laughs> after that, yeah, it was, uh, it was great, you know, and then uh, we got arrested, and then uh, we got stopped by Milwaukee Road on the way back to the police station, so that was my real thing experience. Oh, okay. So, I got a question. What does any of these experiences have to do with rail fanning? I mean, you said you saw a train on the way to the police station, and, uh, was it another train on the way to the police station, too? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, it's a great rail fanning experience. I mean, I was slightly passed out, but you know what I mean. It was, it was, all, it was all good, you know, we, we had a great time. I was, I was totally in the train. Oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, I see that. I so, uh, would you like? So, what were you saying? Um, what is your experience? It's like, what can you tell the younger rail fans about previous railroads, like before the mergers and everything? You know, what can you tell yeah. them about how your past times? Yeah, well, that was that was a big day in history. You know, with the uh, BCQ merged with the uh, Union Pacific, and they they formed. Uh, uh, Santa Fe, you know, that was, that was a big moment, and, uh, yeah, I got, I got, I got a decent amount of tapes about that, and, you know, I'm sorry, it was, it was so funny when, um, you know, my friend dropped a beer and it lit my house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know that, was, uh, that was all good, you know, it was a for me and my friend, we had a good time, but, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, that totally had to do with trades, you know, I had to say that. Yeah. So, what about, like, previous railroads? Like, when the Milwaukee Road went bankrupt, what was your, what was your thoughts on that back in the day? Like, oh, what about the railroad? Yeah, in the around? 80s, you know, I was, all right, yeah, I remember Milwaukee Road, you know, that was a big moment back in history when they, uh, they got, they merged with, uh, 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 being the set, you know, that was a big moment, and, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it was kind of a sad day for me, you know, I got arrested for 20 years for, uh, too much DUIs, and, uh, yeah, it was a sad moment, yeah. Oh, okay, um, so, after those 20 years, how about now, what do you rail fan today, like, 
what do you if all the railroads is there a particular railroad you miss the most that you wish could come back yeah, well, I really miss BNSF, you know, with their uh, uh, gray and yellow paint scheme. You know, that was, uh, that was one of my favorites. I see. So what do you think about Kansas City Southern and Canadian Pacific merging? Because I know you've been through a lot of the other railroads merging, but this is, like, for a lot of young rail fans, a brand new thing. So what is your opinion on this, like? within the past like five months that this is yeah well you know i've been kind of passed out in the last few years so i, I don't really remember too much <laughs> so yeah it was, it was kind of it was funny you know ever since the couple six packs you know I've been sort of in and out in the last couple months you know uh, you understand yeah i know i understand i got a question in though because uh, apparently it seems that all your questions answer are related to other things how many six packs have you drank within the last week before this interview? And how many before today? And do you still drink? Do I still drink? Yeah. Well, I uh, I, I drink about uh, uh, the number has not been discovered by science yet. You know. Oh. So uh, I want to pre thank you for uh, joining uh, uh, me on this interview. What's your name again? Uh, Grandpa Real Fan. Yeah, okay. I, I'm so good at Real Fan. It's in, it's in my name. I got it. So if you want to watch more of like interviews like this on the Real Fan Expert Channel, you can come here and everything, and we can try. If you know anyone like this, then you can come on the show, and we can uh, maybe interview them for more Real Fan info because yeah, we're trying and, uh, to do a lot. Of I should real fan. Yeah, so I'm gonna go real fan some uh, UP and Q. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Hang loose, dudes. Okay, have a great day. That was a crazy thing. Yo, oh, we need to get more people on pack? like that. I mean, that's how you get subscribers, yeah. right? I mean, who's gonna wanna watch a boring interview? Like, that's what people wanna watch in the news. Someone who is like drunk like that. I mean, hey, are you calling me drunk? No, uh, no, we're not. Uh, you're perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys. I only had four six packs yesterday. Ah, I got okay, it. Okay. Oh yeah, I thought you said it was uh, undiscovered. No, what you had. <laughs> no, That's no, not counting the week. I was only recommended for one of those rehabilitation programs twice, but it's okay. Ah. Uh, oh. Well, hopefully, uh. We can get more interviews like that. Yeah. Peace. Ah. <laughs>